Hello my virtual friends, my name is Catherine, also known as Miss Balloon, and welcome to a Grim End. Not your Grim End, it's not Halloween just yet. This is a Grim End wherein we play as this little guy who is waking up in the strange dreamland and with the help of four spirits, we hope to escape it. So then, let's press space and begin. Right then, no idea how much it's going to go but the style drew me to it and I thought, yeah, looks pretty cool so let's give it a shot. Let me tell you a dream I made, or I had. The kind of dream you don't awake from. It starts in an unknown place, and I had no idea what I was doing here. Spirits were flying around me. What could possibly be happening? They come to me and told me they were... Kite... Kite... Oh god. Kaitiakis. Kaitiakis. Okay, I'll go with that. They were the forest guardian, so I knew I could trust them. Alright, that's a bold thing to say there, okay. I could stay there forever. Sorry, sorry. I couldn't stay there forever, so I decided to move on. Oh, by the way, I'm Taraki, and this is my story. Right. Okay, then. Sweet. I see. So, it's Taraki and the spirits, we shall call them, because I cannot even remember how that word is spelled now. Right. No going that way, so let's go this way. Okay. Looks pretty cool so far. No idea how the controls work, though. I've got arrow keys so far. Ah, good. You've given me them. Thank you. I was facing some kind of weird blue portal. Maybe it's dangerous to go through. But how could I know? I could ask one of my new- Oh! Oh yeah, it did say on the HTO page, I can recall now. It's a decision-based game, so it's like the choices matter type deal. Okay, so Q, I could ask one of my friends to go first. Alright. I will show these spirits that I'm brave. Let's go first. Hmm. Possibly sacrifice one of my new friends. Or go first and probably be killed. If I throw them in, it'll look really bad, so let's go first. Okay then. Oh god. The choice that I made seemed to influence the portal's colour. Maybe it's not the only thing impacted by my action. Has the portal's colour any link to the destination? So many questions. Oh indeed. Okay, I'm remembering it's yellow just for future reference. Just in case. Well, nothing horrible seems to have happened so far. Great then, so I could have technically sent one of my mates in there, but oh well. Right then, well, mates. They are forest spirits. Nothing less. The gap was far too big for me to jump over it. I wouldn't hurt the spirits. I'm going to try and jump anyway. I can use one of them. Oh god. Is it going to be always going to be like that, isn't it? When I use them, they are gone forever. Oh, okay. Oh, do I be a massive dick or do I just die? <laughs> the great life question for us all. Hmm. Is it an Indiana Jones though? Because if it's an Indiana Jones, I'll look really stupid by using one of them. Indiana Jones! Okay. Indiana Jones! Uh, die. Did I just die? Oh no. Oh! We Indiana Jones did, but it turned out okay. Huzzah! Now I was facing a wall impossible to climb. I only had two choices. I could take one of their energy and get to the top of the mountain, or let's. Or risk climbing all the- oh god, okay. What I'm thinking that the unstable means is that they'll collapse nigh on immediately as soon as I step on them. So I need to go- I purposely a frog leap all the way up as fast as possible. So, let's get on with it. Okay, oh god. Ha! Got it, got it. Oh, this is easy. Totally got it, totally got it. Yeah, they're fading away. I've got tons of time. I was like, oh no, no, no! No, oh shit. My confidence betrays me. Eh. Uh, falling? Hoping for best? Rats. <laughs> One of them disappeared under my feet and I slipped. The fall seemed infinite. But then I woke up again in the same unknown forest. And they're all there, like nothing ever happened and the nightmare was over. Was it? Right. So let's do that path again, but this time let's not uh, fall like an idiot. I really almost had that, I just don't know why it didn't work like that. Well, maybe we can explore the path, or you can explore your own path if you play this game for yourself, so. Right, bravery abound, let's get in. I got this, I got this. I have more time than I think I do, so I shouldn't panic too much. There we go. Okay, good. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. <sighs> Did it. Right, yellow and green, got it. <clears throat> Where will we end up now? Oh no. It's a bit too Indiana Jones for my liking game. 
I think we're kind of stuck, but oh well. At this moment, I had only one thought. If the stone touches me, I'm dead. I will make it. Gotta go fast. Maybe a cat can destroy the rock before it hurts us all. Oh, I feel like I can't unrun the rock. I probably can. Though given the glitchiness this is happening right now, I don't know, but okay. Going for it. Ah! Running. Ah, we're really st we're really glitching out here. Uh, what? I touched one of them and therefore I'm dead. <sighs> Fine. Right. So she won't right, so every time we die, we wake up back at the start. So we can't escape this pretty much. Right. Okay. I think what we're gonna have to do is get them to destroy the rock. Because there's, there's some stuff we just can't do on our own. Especially there because we somehow glitched out, but whatever. Never mind. Let's get back there. We'll do we'll do the proper course of action, whatever that may be. So I'll see you in a second. Awesome, we made it back to the rock. And we're still glitching out, okay. Great, can I have a jump and escape that? Kind of, but no, very much. Right, okay then. Sorry guys. Destroy it, destroy it! Okay, good. Right, so now I have three of them left. Oh boy. Also, this is currently happening. Let's just jump down the hill. So that is how it works, okay. So our decisions impact them as well as us. Right, ah! Hoping for the best. Okay, good, we're fine. Great. Oh, please don't make me fall, though I need to live. Takes me a little while to get back here. I wonder how long this actually goes on for. Cause here we have three and all the choices we've had. What? No sticky keys, go away. I must be pressing shift too much, that's why. Whoopsie. Right, get down there. Move out of the way, mouse. Or hover there, that's also fine. Oh, goody, another portal. We're doing good, question mark? I have no idea. Seems like it. I mean, that one was impossible to get away from at that point. I could have probably if the game hadn't bugged out a little bit, but... Okay. Oh, volcano! And mysterious stranger. Suddenly I'm crossed the road of a mysterious stranger. I didn't notice him at first. Then he stood up and came to me. He proposed me a deal. Gave me a powerful amulet in exchange for one of the spirits. Let's see. I shouldn't swear at him, like, given the last option, like, give it, give one of them, no, go to hell. Uh, I have a, I have a don't know option, though. I imagine indecisiveness won't get us anywhere in this game, so how about a negatory on that front, sir? Goodbye. <clears throat> Probably would have killed me anyway, that amulet, I have no idea, but I'm going to assume that would have done something bad for us, but still. Onwards and downwards. It feels like we're going down. Ah. One of these, eh, game? All right. I get it. I got you. I'll jump it. Oh god. These ones go further away la than last time. Also, no! Oh, fuck it. No, wait. I can make it. Oh, god, yeah. Shit. That one was solid, I was about to say. Ah, uh, I have to go all the way back to the start? Really, game? Oh, god. Okay, fine. The test of that, is it? Fine, then. L luckily, your beautiful backgrounds. An interesting story, I've kept me hooked, so I shall be willing to go again. So let's get back there and hopefully survive this time with more fun platforming. Right then, we're back again after another attempt because I fell after the boulder bit. We can move on. That bit is solid, so I gotta be careful I don't jump under it. Plus, this guy kind of floats a little when he jumps, so we gotta be careful of that just in case. There we go. Perfect. Good, that's not just see-through as well. Lovely. Oh god. Leaps of faith a little here. Oh, don't you dare. Game, please, for the love of god. No! Come on! You're not fine. That, that path is closed. I'm not going through that again. It takes too long to get there. When we get to the... I'll go first. There's no need to sacrifice one of them here. When we get to that... Leap of faith, one of them's getting used. Cause it's just, oh, going through all that nonsense is just aggravating at this point. So I'll just get past this little bit and see what new path opens up to us. I'm sure you guys can explore what that is when we get there. There we go, I'm sorry little buddy, I need it to go. I need you to be my thing here. Right. What newness have we got now? Is this the other side where the bol that bolter is? Feels like it. Oh no, is it another leap of faith? 
I can't deal, okay? So I finally climbed the north side. Where do I go now? I'll give it a shot. Let's jump and see what happens. <sighs> okay, fine. Well, we survived infinite jump, so why not? Leap of faith. Oh, jeez. Okay. Faith again. Okay, good. We did it. It wasn't all that infinite. Yay. Right, this turns out to be the way... I was going to say way better path, but these are platforms. Right, another impossible climb. So we have to go through this path anyway. Right, I feel like the, this route is much easier than the other one. Considering the boulder and whatnot. So yes, I can take the risk. Again, up the platforms we go. So I imagine that the next bit is a mandatory thing. As this bit seems to almost be, but never mind. I can get through it. You need a bit more tact. Although that means then that... Uh, oh. Oh, no, we get straight to the... Okay, I was gonna say, I thought we had to use up one of them again if we're going to go straight to the boulder, but... Never mind, uh, no thank you, sir, I'll be fine. Without whatever amulet you so offer to me. Unless it helps me do uh, platforming where I can't see the platforms. That'd be nice, but... That might actually be what it does as well, but oh well. Uh, apart from that, never mind, okay. I got this, just need to do it effectively, like so. Just be careful. No, no, oh, indes oh, indecisiveness kills. They might come back though, maybe. I'm 100% doubtful, but still. Uh, come back, please. Platforms, oh. I went too far forward and I thought, oh, if I go back, it'll be fine. I went too far back. And I fell again. Right, back down we go then. At least the next path is slightly easier, slight being the word. Right, back around the merry-go-round we trot once again. Oh, I said to I said to the stranger and said just, oh wait, do you really think I'm going to leave you without my spirit? Said the stranger I was ready to take the next portal, and in blink one of my spirits was gone, and so was the stranger. One of them's been kidnapped. For the love of God, I just said to him I don't know instead of saying go to hell. God's sake. Fine, I suppose being decisive is the better option there. Never mind though, we made it- Oh, Why here? I need to use a spirit here because I can't physically outrun it because the game's a bit bugged. Fine. Alright, so this is the worst situation we could possibly be in. Considering we have two less than we should. And we've only got more to come, where we might physically need this uh, spirit to help us in our endeavours, but no matter, we shall have to cross that bridge when we come to it, eventually, if I can ever make it to said bridge, but still, you shouldn't have to see me make it back there, so BRB. Just before ending this port, I feel something different from before. The, event, the end of all could be on the other side. How do you gauge that? It's because I've used all my spirits. One by accident, I must add. Oh, finally I was facing my dark counterpart. All things I feared about myself, but this time I was confident. I knew it wouldn't hurt me. It was a hard decision to make, but I had to. At that moment, I decided to sacrifice all the, oh, all the spirits and erase my dark enemy. It was heartbreaking, feeling my body teared into parts. The shadow screamed in a way I'd never heard before. Then it all went black and I, huh? I definitely could have made it through this without using any of them, but... Ah, it's a bit difficult. Did it? Did I die along with my dark side? Ah! <laughs> a grim end! So I imagine that is indeed the way of it. You cannot escape it. Maybe if you got the amulet actually from that bastard, he would it'd protect you from it, but... Even then it would still exist, so I imagine that was what we were supposed to do. Not 100% sure though, but still, I enjoyed the game. I had a nice little uh, unique story to it, plus the design of it was really beautiful. I got a comment on that m m a lot. Excuse my star for a second. <clears throat> but there are some like bugs that make it quite difficult to play and like do affect your choices quite a lot. Like the boulder one, for example. I can't run away from it, so therefore I have to pick the one with the, sp the spare option. But aside from that, 
It's a nice well-rounded game and I enjoyed it quite a lot. So you did quite a lot with the whole choice aspect of it. It actually affects other people and you can see it tangibly by the fact that the fairies disappear, or spirits in fact. And then in the end, it really does matter. So you did a good job on that front, so I can appreciate that. Great, so, so then, that was a grim end. Thank you all so kindly for watching. You can find this game on Itch.io. Link in the description as always. Hope to see you in the next one. See you later.